hello my sexy muffins and welcome back to another video in this video we are doing the 4th of july so happy 4th of july if you're obviously american which most of my audience is you know that 4th of july is the independence day we'll, we'll, we don't have a lot to be celebrating this year for independence other than that biden really is one of the most uh great presidents that we had that in the sense that he supports the lgbtqia the most and yeah that's a really good thing thank you president biden thank you anyways i hope that you all enjoy this for the 4th of july one we are doing a request that is yandere america from hatalia as a yandere for you and this will start with the base head cannons and trait and what he would be like as a yandere and maybe have a birthday scenario in it i do not know maybe maybe not anyways let's do this disclaimer america is not yandere and canon and it people from america do not all act like america from hetalia this is fiction and America from Italian and America in this is not how people act like from America all the time in it. It is fiction. They are fictional characters. It is not real. This is not how it represents everyone from America. That's stereotyping, which is a little harsher. Anyways, so no, this is fiction and it's just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters in Yandere's is fine as long as you're not illegal or gross about it and that you separate headcanon from canon and fiction from reality like that not everyone is going to act like America from Hedalia, obviously. Anyways... I hope that you all enjoy this. And Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Thank you. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so America is a cheerful, energetic, yet somewhat conceited young man who is obsessed with heroes, justice, and freedom. He is obsessed with you. You are the most important person, and he will do anything to be with you. He is the type that would stick his nose in your business even if he doesn't even if it does not belong there. He needs to know what you like and even more who you like. He may just deport or exile anyone you uh, dated out of the United States. No one is going to touch his sweet he is beyond dramatic and clingy yandere. Being very obsessed that he is going to be so over dramatic and over the top about it. Like, OMG, you texted back, yas. But over dramatic hype about, it. like, oh my god, you texted back, I'm so excited. <laughs> or, oh, I did not, they not text me back. As he sobs sadly, feeling like you are ignoring him and he gets paranoid with that. He is a mess of emotions in general. He is also the big go big or go home type of yandere. He will put America into even more debt with how big he goes for you. And you are his everything and you and he will be your hero no matter what. He chooses to not read the room, preferring to be oblivious, and as a yandere he does not he does this with you as well with his yandere side willingly choosing to not read the room when you are annoyed with him or do not to be want to be with, or do not want to be near him he is also super strong and will process if well, one sec he is also super strong and will princess lift you sweeping you off your feet bridal into a bridal style and carry you it does not matter how much you weigh or to him to him it does not matter how much you weigh you are as light as a feather and also be the yandere that th he would be the yandere that throws you over his shoulder and runs off with you when he wants to be alone with you this means if needed he can break oh sorry yeah i r skipped a line i think uh no i did i read it right okay this also means if needed he will break your legs with extreme ease and if he has to to keep you by his side no matter what then he is going to be the hero and take care of you and helping you get better also making sure that you love him ignoring the fact he may or may have not 
shattered every bone in your legs. Yes, legs. He would watch so many horror movies with you. If you got scared at them, he would be there to be the hero and protect you always. Unless it's a ghost movie, then he is going to be clinging to you while you both sleep, almost suffocating you. He is the insec he is insecure about his weight, so would do his best to stay in shape for you. That way you will never look at another man or woman or nine binary pal. He loves heroes and happy endings, and that is a huge thing that has molded him as a yandere for you. He sees himself as the hero and the and that rivals are the villains of the story. He is Superman and you are his damsel in distress. It does not matter if you are she, a he, or a they. He will loves you and will be your hero. He also is very easily the jealous type. He has his own insecurities and is worried that you will leave him. He also has an extreme overprotective Yandere side and in the sense that so much that he will have secret service on you at all times, keeping you safe always. If not locking you away in his home with secret service guard in the property. Dealing with rivals by sending them away from the United States or banning them from the United States. He would confess again by going, by going, sorry, wrote by going twice, by going to, by going, go big or go home. Jester, jester, gesture. If you say yes, you are treated like royalty all the time and he adores you and is over the moon. If you turn him down, folk. He will knock you out and take you to his home where he will chain you to the bed and you will stay there and he will say that you are being just being silly. That you do love him and you do not know it yet. That he will show you that you are his forever and always. And if you try to run, broken legs. End of that discussion. He will make you love him no matter what. So he at least knows Stockholm Syndrome will work eventually. And yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do a scenario for this one. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if there is more Italia characters you would like to see, comment below which Yandere Italia characters you would like to see. 1P, 2P, Natalia, any of that. And I will do my best to do them. Also... Wait till the end of the playlist. Uh, wait till the end of the video is over. There will be a playlist at the end uh, end video where it has a smash or pass for Hitalia characters, which you can see me smash or pass the Hitalia characters. Yes. But if you don't want to do that, that's just fine as well. And please like or subscribe the video if you want, but no pressure. Anyways, thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You're wonderful. You are fabulous. You're mm, chef kiss. Thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are also chef kiss and beautiful and wonderful, obviously. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. And I hope that you're all having, a, whenever you do have it, if you're out of the United States and are born in a different country and belong to a different country, I hope that you eventually have a good Independence Day for your country as well and that you have equal rights in your country for everyone. I know some countries do not have that because of reasons. Anyways, I, otherwise, I hope that you all enjoyed and that you're all having a great extended pride as well. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye bye. Dee, 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 dee. Secret outro time. Secret outro time. Secret, 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 secret outro time. Now, I've already said this. I probably want Smash America, or I did say I would smash him. But what is your, for the secret outro, what is your choice? Would you smash a Yandere America? I do it once for the experience because that is just experience level stuff. But I would not be in a committed relationship with him because, oh my God, he is just too much. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Uh, again, I hope you're all having a great 
at least my American viewers, uh, you're having a great 4th of July. And I hope that we all have get to a point where we all have equal rights again and don't have the Supreme Court choosing what to do with our uteruses or states choosing what to do with our uterus or trying to get rid of gay marriage. Yes, I'm calling you out, Supreme Court. You're poo. You're a bunch of poo. And some of you in Congress and the Supreme Courts, get this, are as old as television. Literally, they have been alive since television, since radios have been outcompeted by televisions. That's how old some of our governors and senators or whatever are in, in the Supreme Court and all that, how old they are. We need to age them out. We need to get rid of them. Boom. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.